the etheric body, ether body, other body, a name given by neo-theosophy to a vital body or subtle body propounded in esoteric philosophies as the first or lowest layer in the human energy field or aura. It is said to be in immediate contact with the physical body, to sustain it and connect it with higher bodies. The English term etheric in this context seems to derive from the theosophical writings of Madame Blavatsky, but its use was formalized by C. W. Leadbeater and Annie Besant due to the elimination of Hindu terminology from the system of seven planes and bodies. Adger's School of Theosophy The term gained some general popularity after the 1914-18 war, drive. Walter John Kilner having adopted it for a layer of the human atmosphere, which, as he claimed in a popular book, could be rendered visible to the naked eye by means of certain exercises. The classical element ether of Platonic and Aristotelian physics continued in Victorian scientific proposals of a luminiferous ether as well as the cognate chemical substance ether. According to Theosophists and Alice Bailey the etheric body inhabits an etheric plane which corresponds to the four higher subplanes of the physical plane. The intended reference is therefore to some extremely rarefied matter, analogous in usage to the word spirit, originally breath. In selecting it as the term for a clearly defined concept in an Indian-derived metaphysical system, the Theosophists aligned it with ideas such as the Pranamaya Kasha sheath made of prana, subtle breath or life force of Dantic thought. In popular use it is often confounded with the related concept of the astral body as for example in the term astral projection, the early theosophists had called it the astral double. Others prefer to speak of the lower and higher astral. In the teachings of theosophy, devas are regarded as living either in the atmospheres of the planets of the solar system, planetary angels, or inside the sun, solar angels presumably other planetary systems and stars of their own angels and they help to guide the operation of the processes of nature such as the process of evolution and the growth of plants. Their appearance is reputedly like colored flames about the size of a human being. It is believed by theosophists that devils can be observed when the third eye is activated. Some, but not most, devas originally incarnated as human beings. It is believed by theosophists that nature spirits, elementals, gnomes, omdens, sylphs, and salamanders, and fairies can also be observed when the third eye is activated. It is maintained by theosophists that these less evolutionarily developed beings have never been previously incarnated as human beings. They are regarded as on a separate line of spiritual evolution called the dev evolution. Eventually, as their souls advance as they reincarnate, it is believed they will incarnate as devas.